Good afternoon and welcome to a wonderful day of Dota. I'm sitting here with Razak, the manager of Navi. You are about to play, or your team is about to play, the first elimination match of the day. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I think you have to like put your microphone. Yeah, I might. Yeah. All right. Uh, a little nervous, I guess, obviously, and uh, I'm still pretty confident that we can take it. As you can know, like Navi is always the team that can either lose either match or uh, or win any match. Especially in Star Ladder, especially in the finals, since we, you only, you have like such incredible teams playing here. But yeah, hopefully everyone's got enough rest. We got here in, a, in the right attitude and we're about to see, see where that takes us. Do you think that your guys feel nervous or confident or how, how, is, their, how is their mood? Um, they don't actually ever feel that nervous, especially, well, unless it's TI. Like, uh, that's the only yeah. thing that actually gets them like really nervous. Other than that, they try to, st to stay in their zone. Um, other than that, this is the first game of the day. Uh, they just got here. I'm, hopefully, this is they have enough time to actually like warm up and and uh, uh, put themselves in the right attitude, mental state to to show us what they can do against Fnatic, especially. Like, if you remember, we uh, did very good, very well. Well, actually, we did bad against Fnatic in Dreamhack, and then we did well against Fnatic in Dreamhack yeah. uh, during the same tournament. And at EMS, we did. Um, not as good, not as not as well. Obviously. Double elimination bracket definitely favors Navi. In that yeah, regard. <laughs> yeah, it does. But uh, right now it's all or nothing, as you know. Like the, yeah. the winner gets to go forward, the loser gets to uh, stay, uh, watch others play, relax and drink whatever the bar has to offer. I guess. Yeah, no, the bar has a lot to offer actually. So yeah, it does. I think that will be okay. So how long have you been a manager for Navi? Um, only a couple of months, actually. I've been um, kind of scouted after TI3, as you know. I've been there helping with the production, uh, doing uh, synchronized translation, interpretation from English for the uh, to Russian for the Russian stream. Uh, I've also known guys from Navi for a long time. I've known, yeah. like, I've known the Cyber Arena staff for a long time. I've known uh, Zero Gravity, the CEO of Navi, and after. Uh, they decided to change management for all their teams. The Navi. Okay. They, they decided to restructure a bit, make it more uh, streamlined, more uh, organized. And they were looking for new managers and my name came up. So Zero Gravity approached me somewhere in uh, late September or early October. We discussed it for a couple of weeks and I decided I'd give it a try. And is that for you full time? Yeah, it is full time. I do marketing when I'm not uh, traveling. Yeah. Other than that, I, I manage their games, obviously, their schedule and all all their needs uh, when I'm traveling I'm with them all 24 7 obviously because because what do you do like if there's not a LAN event that you have to take care of like what do you what's your job as a manager um, I uh, talk to all the uh, tournament uh, to organizers that we have actually like going on for right now for example I've been swarmed with invites for February and March in, uh, yeah. uh, in uh, tournaments it's been quiet since like uh, second half of December to till uh, yeah. till the just star ladder because everyone's been out to the holidays and stuff. Uh, but now I'm sworn with the invitations. I have to see what we can do, what we can't do, what we can attend, what what openings we have in our schedule. Once I uh, once we agree to participate, I have to make up a schedule, also supervise it, like remind the guys when you're gonna have a game today. You're gonna have a game like. So you're not going to have games for a while, so you can rest, etc., etc. If they need any equipment, etc., I also supervise that it gets sent to them. Okay. Well, since they uh, they live in different countries, three yeah. of them obviously live in Ukraine, but it's also not in the same city. So yeah, um, I take care of that. Financial questions, sometimes like logistics for future for tournaments. Yeah. And other than that, I also help with marketing and online marketing for the website. And, and do you get involved at all in their in their training schedule, or is it just like the official games that you manage? Uh, official games mostly. I can't sometimes supervise when, when they try. I sit in and uh, like, um, <coughs> but other than that, I don't influence their the game style. Uh, I try not to. And do you do anything like in regards to their sponsors? Like, is there anything that you have responsibility of that they have to show off? certain sponsors at certain times? If uh, we have previous agreements, like at MLG we had an agreement with still serious that yeah. we would have a, a, a signing session just for them, then yeah, if I, uh, if I know of that, we have the uh, pre-standing agreement, then yeah, obviously I supervise that, I make sure they show up, I make sure that they sign and they're greeting their fans and stuff like that. Other than that, there's not really a lot sponsor related that I take care of. Okay. It's mostly another department in Navi that takes care of all that. 
Okay, fair enough. And now, of course, you are on LAN. And uh, travel arrangement has mostly been done by Starladder themselves. So what do you do when you're here, when your team is actually playing? What, what's your... Uh, this is actually a common misunderstanding. When Navi comes to Starletter, Starletter doesn't manage oh. any travel uh, accommodation and whatnot. All of this is covered by Navi. It always has been. This is one of those things that MI MYM actually had an issue with back in the day. Okay. When they thought that like, yeah, Starletter always manages Navi's everything. Like, no. Even right now when, uh, when Starletter helped the other teams, they picked them off the, uh, up from the airport, they arranged transportation, accommodation, etc. We have our own offices in yeah. Kiev. We have our own uh, apartments where the guys can rest in Kiev. I personally live in Kiev, so all of this Navi takes care, not Starletter. So yeah, that, that falls upon me and oh. everyone else from Navi. And what do you do like at the venue here? Because I've seen you walking around, you're sitting behind players. Is there something like that, that you provide for your players still there? Uh, if they need, it's actually like uh, during the event, uh, it's easy for me to do minor tasks that they need. Like if they need guest invites for their friends, I can sometimes take care of that. Even if they need something as minor as uh, water on stage, because uh, Starlighter didn't provide it for some reason. For, food for thought for future <laughs> seasons, but yeah. Uh, it's not a problem for me to go grab it so they don't have to like actually get out of, uh, of their zone of their comfort zone and of, of their playing space um, and uh, I just communicate with all the people I've been good friends with a lot of teams here yeah. Fnatic, Sigma, Alliance obviously so I try to have fun as myself uh, while also taking care of the guys needs so basically you're making sure that they only have to worry about the game yeah pretty much Always and on land. And I mean, you kind of rolled into the manager role, like good connections, of course, did help. And I know there's a lot of teams out there, like uh, amateur teams or maybe even above that, that like don't have a manager. And maybe there's a lot of people out there that like want to be a manager. I want to know how to become one. Like what kind of advice would you give those people? Um, stay organized, put yourself out there, obviously. Knowing people in the scene helps a lot. I've been... I've known a lot of people in the scene just from my previous experience with Asus tournaments and, and uh, WCG, the, well, the Ukrainian ones, the Cyber Arena, yeah. all stuff, obviously. Um, other than that, I've also been introduced to a lot of people uh, later, once I actually uh, started managing Navi. And uh, yeah, so once you know some people, you, actually, uh, you can start working around that, I guess. Uh, it, you, any previous uh, management experience really helps. Like I've been managing a depart, like a support, uh, com technical support department okay. in a company previously. I had people under my supervision. Love, so yeah, uh, that role was at least familiar to me. Managing schedules, managing assignments, etc., etc., etc. If you have that, and then you have uh, ambition or at least a, a desire to travel with the team, actually be. Uh, the front of the team, the front and the backbone of the team to support them, to provide for them. And then uh, if you have an organization that actually can sponsor you and, and uh, a team that is willing to accept you as a manager, you can try to build a relationship with them and yeah. see where that takes you. But yeah, uh, like I, I can't really give a lot of great advice just because I, like you said, I rolled into it. I got scouted. I guess the best advice from that is like, Connections, network, yeah, always, get, always get yourself out there, make people know that you want to help. Or if you know of a team perhaps that doesn't have a manager oh, or have friends that have a team, you can always get some experience that way. You can way. always go the old fashioned way, like sleep with the producer and all that. <laughs> <laughs> like, the lot of is taken, obviously, but yeah, there are, there are <laughs> the <same. laughs> uh, 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 There's Depends obviously other ways. Depends how far you want to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, as with anything. Yeah, well that's definitely true. So, of course, your guys are going to be playing like in uh, 16 minutes and 58 seconds. Yeah, I'm counting. Uh, like yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine. So, I'm going to wish you a lot of luck. And uh, you're going to be uh, like a beacon behind your players to uh, support them. Yeah, I'm flying the Navi colors today. So, yeah, I'm yeah. going to be behind them. I'm going to just mentally cheer for them because I, I don't even open my mouth. Uh, I take tournament rules very seriously. I'm not supposed to be like in my in the face of my players, yeah. and I'm not supposed to talk a lot at all. So I just stay cheer? there. I, I I cheer with my mouth closed. Okay. I'm like <laughs> I, I can fist bump in the air. I can wait. I, I can try to like get the crowd going and stuff like that. But I stay silent and I just uh, no hope that my presence, <laughs> like that 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 protection they have of, of their back, 
uh, of the rear guard, uh, per se, that they, they feel it and that gives them a little more confidence and uh, a little more drive to uh, th pull through and a little edge over the uh, uh, competition. Okay, because I know Fnatic's manager, he cheers loud. Yeah, he does, he does. <laughs> well, they all do. They all, like, yeah, as okay, you know, the Fnatic is, a, is a, one of the louder teams, yes, uh, Sigma is are. as well. Alliance mostly is a quiet team, Navi is mostly a quiet team. Yeah. Obviously, final games are like big fights where, where the uh, emotions run high, you can uh, have a c an, occa an occasional cheer yeah. or a shout or even like uh, someone can stand up and uh, like roar at the crowd. That ha that's happened. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, other than that, uh, we mostly stay focused and, uh, and calm. Okay, well, those are the best moments, though, the, 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 Obviously, the for emotions, fans the emotions, we want to see those. Yeah, well, so do I, so do the players sometimes, but uh, other than that, as, you, as I've said, a lot of good teams, a lot of tough games, and you don't really uh, get to enjoy yourself that much un until much later in the tournament. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I guess uh, emotions uh, go, go take a little step back in front of, like, cold calculation and and staying calm and playing your best. Yeah. So, uh, of course, you think your team is going to win. Do you think they're going to take it 2-0 or 2-0? Or 2-1 or 2-0? 2-1. I think 2-1 is what's going to happen. I actually, well, I kind of expected 2-1 yesterday as well. Okay. But in our favor, favor obviously. It didn't yeah. go as, as I planned. But, yeah, 2-1, I think, is, what is definitely what we can look forward to. Okay. Well, we're going to see if it's going to happen. Uh, of course, Merlini and LD will be here shortly for you to... Uh, take you to the match. I'm excited. I hope everybody at home is as well. And um, I'll be back here later with more interviews of different people. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having and, uh, me. And good luck. Yeah, cheers.